Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa with Lisa's Paradise and I have a tag. I was tagged by Stinky Cheese and this is the get to know me tag. So let's get started. So number one, what does your channel name mean? When I started my channel, I think three years ago, um, I was just doing like videos of my grandkids and that. And so I was trying to think of a name and of course my grandkids and my kids are my paradise. So I thought Lisa's paradise. Kind of cheesy, I know, but that's what it meant. And everything that I was doing, like vlogging, um, my nanny work and everything, it, it just means a lot to me. So kids just mean a lot. So that's where my name came from. Number two, where are you from? Um, I was born in California and I was brought to Ohio when I was about five years old and I've been in Ohio ever since and I'm 50 years old so I've been here and I've got family in California I've got family in North Dakota that's where my mom is from so um, I'm in Ohio um, oh I just answered number three <laughs> where are you now I'm in Ohio <laughs> I'm in o uh, Columbus Ohio so Number four, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite sex? Well, I have an older brother. His name is Jared and his, Jerry, and he was named after his father. We have separate, different dads, and my dad wasn't around. So um, I'm not sure. I, my mom has never said, you know, if you were a boy, I would have named you. No, so it's hard to tell. Okay, number five, what is your eye color? Everybody calls it poopy brown, but it is brown. <laughs> I have real dark brown eyes. Um, number six, what's your favorite candle scent? I would have to say anything cinnamon, um, like cookies, anything that smells of fall, I guess, and baking. I'm pretty, pretty easy to please. Okay, number seven, can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of that here lately, but I love to cook. I love to bake. Um, hopefully one day I can get back in the hang of doing it again because I love it. My mom, like she just made three crock pots of chicken and noodles. She's a fantastic cook, um, which I'll be making chicken and noodles, homemade chicken and noodles this week too. And I'd like to share it with you guys, but my mom makes it every year and, um, there was a death and, um, our family so she was making up a bunch of chicken and noodles to take over for them and um, so yeah I learned a lot from my mom okay number eight what is your sign I am a Pisces and if you know anything about Pisces we're dreamers and we kind of dream that the world is one happy place and I kind of like it that way because when you work with kids you want to show them that life is happy and that life is good. And I know some people, you know, in their profession, I've had teachers that work alongside of me and they have a hard time dealing with kids because they come in with their issues and stuff. And it's hard to shut that off sometimes. And for me, it's easy because once I see the kids, they melt my heart and it doesn't matter if I'm sick or whatever, they make me feel so much better. So, um, a Pisces. Um, number nine, what scares you about aging? I don't know if anything really scares me. The only thing I think I worry about is not being here for my grandkids. Um, not being there to share those memories or teach them things that, um, they need to be taught, you know, because the world's not teaching kids like they used to. And, um... So I try to stay close to them and kind of guide them. And I just don't, I think, I, I guess that's my biggest fear is that, that I'm not going to be here for them. So I'll be here as long as I, until I take my last breath, I guess. 10, last thing you bought. Hmm. I just came from the Dollar Tree, you guys, and um, I found some great stuff. So I'll be doing a Dollar Tree haul soon. And um, let's just say... We'll show you this. This is what I, look at this. This is as seen on TV. Now this came from Dollar Tree. These are $15 at Walmart. 
So just want to share that. So anyway, 11, favorite holiday, I would have to say when I when my kids were at home, it would have been Christmas. Um, watching them open up their gifts and things like that and just spending time with family. Um, now it's Thanksgiving because my kids are older and they have their own kids and on Christmas they kind of go everywhere and um, we still meet up but it, it's not the same, you know. And so Thanksgiving is when we all get together and we can, you know, have great food and conversation and spend time with everybody. So Thanksgiving. Okay, number 12. What is your guilty pleasure? Chocolate. I, it's bad. It's chocolate. I've been trying to do better about not eating any chocolate through the day um, or even at night. But um, at night, I want to eat cocoa pebbles. <laughs> if I don't get anything sweet through the day, I'll eat some cocoa pebbles. So that's my guilty pleasure is chocolate. Okay, number 13. What shows do you binge watch? I really don't watch a lot of TV anymore. Now, I do record um, Teen Mom, 16 and Pregnant, all that because I was a teen mom. I was 16 when I had my first child, and he's 32 now. So I can relate to them, and a couple of them don't live, the couple of them that are on the TV show don't live very far from me. So it, it just hits home, and I, I enjoy watching it. So, um, what items do you never leave the house without? Um, water, because of this cough, I can't stand it. Um, my phone, that's pretty much it. Um, 15, are you a morning or evening person? Definitely not a morning person. It, for some reason, I get all kinds of energy at night, and then, but the only thing is, if you have to get up in the morning, you're so tired, but I still can't sleep. It's so weird. So, um, I'm an evening person, for sure. 16, favorite movie, um, like, drink, uh, I can't even say this. You know what I mean? Like, comedy, <coughs> I would say comedy, love stories, but I don't, I don't, I can't even tell you the last time I watched a movie. Since I've been doing YouTube, it's hard to find time to do anything. I'm being sick. Excuse me, you guys. What's good in your life right now? Everything is good. Um, my health isn't so good, but you know what? We're working on it, and that's the best we can do is, is just try to tackle it and hopefully the doctors can figure it out and I could get some comfort because <laughs> it's been rough. So number 18, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm an introvert for the most part. I kind of stick to myself and I think a lot of it is because of my health problems. I'd love to go out and enjoy things and do things with people, um, but I have this cough issue and have to be, I have to drink a lot of water. They tell me to drink more than usual that you're supposed to drink in a day because I'm dehydrated because of the medicine and it causes the cough to get worse. Then I have to be close to the bathroom and it's, <coughs> it's endless cycle. So if I could get my health under control, maybe I'd be all right. But if I'm out at a party, you know, or something like that or around people, I'm okay to talk in that. 19, what is your biggest accomplishment? And you guys probably know what this is. I feel it's my kids and my kids produced my grandkids. So um, I feel like that's the one thing that I accomplished. Um, I mean, I accomplished a lot of other things. I have a degree in education and um, obviously we accomplish things every day, but my biggest, biggest accomplishment being a single mom of three was raising them so that was it all right thank you guys and thank you stanky cheese for tagging me i appreciate it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment